All right, in this video, let's do some practice with perfectly competitive graphs, okay? So the graphical analysis. Uh, what I want you to do, uh, I'm going to ask you a question, pause the video, try to solve it, then I'm going to solve it, so then you can watch the answers, check your work, see if you went wrong somewhere, see what my explanation is. So first graph right here, uh, what we want to know is... What is, let me write that a little bit smaller, profit maximizing quantity. Uh, what is the profit at that quantity? Okay, so what is the profit at that quantity? Pause the video and try to figure it out. Okay, I'm back after hopefully being paused. Can do this a couple ways. One, uh, profit maximizing quantity is going to be the last unit where marginal revenue uh, exceeds marginal cost. So we can just write that as marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Where does that happen? It happens. There's marginal revenue. There's marginal cost. It happens at 300 units. So 300 units is our profit maximizing quantity. Follow that up to there. So you can do this a couple ways. Profit is total revenue minus total cost. So total revenue there is going to be 300 minus, or sorry, 300 times 20. Okay, so 6,000 is total revenue. And then uh, we follow that down to where the average total cost hits it. So it's 11, 11 times 33, or sorry, 11 times 300 is 3,300. Uh, and we get a $2,700 profit. Now you can also calculate that by look, just looking at the graph. Go to profit maximization, follow this down here. So this entire, oops, this entire red area right here, this red rectangle, that's profit. Okay, so you can also just say, okay, you make nine, Nine times 300 is 2,700, okay? Now, if you're ever asked about uh, what's the shutdown price, you just go shutdown price is the same as the, um, uh, the, the price where, where it equals average total cost, where you profit maximize it equaling average total cost. So that happens right here. Uh, it's a 200 unit. So what that means is that uh, be lower than 200 units, this firm would not produce, in case you're asked about that. So shutdown price is six. Okay, next one. This one's a little bit bigger. Okay, so pretty quick and easy. Is this firm making a profit? Don't have to calculate it, but if so, how much, or how would you figure that out? Pause the video. Is this firm making a profit? Okay, I'm back after being paused. Profit maximizing here is where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. And so it's writing it as demand, but demand is going to equal marginal revenue because each individual product that's being sold is going to be sold at the same price, which looks like about $325. Uh, here, we're going to follow this up to where it hits average total cost. That's about $475. So it looks like the firm's going to lose about $0.50 cents per unit. How many units do they sell? They sell about $20. They just Calculate that answer, and uh, you've got uh, uh, what is a thousand pennies or ten bucks, right? So this firm's going to lose ten bucks, and so in the long run, this firm should exit the market. Okay, all right. Let's do another one. Okay, so when price equals one hundred. What should this firm do? Pause the video. Price is 100. What's the situation facing this firm? Okay, I'm back after being paused, hopefully. All right, profit maximizing when the price is uh, 100. So we've got a marginal cost. You can follow that down if you want. Right to here. Uh, and that's going to be 100, right where marginal revenue is. Uh, quantity four, so they're going to do four, looks like a flight per day. Uh, and then that equals average total cost. This this firm, this point here right here sometimes is called productive efficiency. So uh, you might have to recognize that. But uh, in this this one here, there's, there's no profit, no loss, because it's going to be 
$400 profit because that's 100 times 4 and then uh, $400 cost which is a, a profit of zero okay mm, let's yeah let's do that one okay what's going on at this for this firm okay I'm back hopefully after being paused all right so here we want to profit maximize so that's gonna happen right here and that looks like 70 to me okay so total revenue is uh, 70 uh, times 8 so that'll be that calculation right there uh, which I think is 560 70 times 8 yeah still got it and that's the total revenue and then the total cost is going to be right here so we'll call that like 625 so we'll say 625 times uh, 70 so 437, so the difference between total revenue and total cost there is represented as this green box. Now, in case you are asked what happens next, well, firms in perfect competition are going to see that, um, that this firm's making a profit. So what's going to happen is uh, other firms are going to say, hey, we can make a profit in that market, right? So they are going to enter the market that's going to whoops that's going to increase the supply okay and that knocks down the market price and that's going to put downward pressure on the price facing the firm decreases marginal revenue and so the quantity that the firm is going to produce is going to decrease okay all right let's uh let's do this one pause the video what's going on with this firm Okay, hopefully you're back. All right, marginal uh, cost equals marginal revenue. Let's do that guy in orange right here. Okay, so 10 units is profit maximizing quantity. However, we're, we're losing money. So follow this up here. And the, this, this whole spot here is the loss, right? In the long run, this firm should exit this, uh, this market because this loss is pretty, pretty uh, significant so it'd be 10 times 20 because 20 is the difference between here and here uh, that's the amount of the loss okay so this firm would need in order to break even would need the price in the market to go up to 30 okay now if this firm drops out of the market that's going to have an effect on our market graph or other graph over here right so if firms can't um, survive in this environment that's going to decrease supply and that will push price up for the survivors. Okay. And then finally, this one, I'm going to give you two different prices. This is the last one. Pause the video, figure out what's going on with market price 40 and market price 20. Okay. Hopefully I'm back. So I'm just going to lay market price 40 right here that smaller and then market price 20 right here okay so market price 40 uh, so that's profit maximizing 10 okay and then the difference here is gonna be the profit so it's the difference there so it'd be uh, they'd make a profit of five dollars per unit times 10 so that'd be 50 Okay, down here, are they going to make a profit? No, because now price is below average total cost. These are the marginal revenue curves right here. So uh, for this one, we actually have two profit maximizing points. We have this point and this point. And what we want to do is see which, which one's loss is smaller, right? So the, it's the distance here versus the distance here. So you can calculate that, but, but we can actually see it. That, um, the firm will make a little bit more money if it produces eight. So it's going to be eight units. And then how much per loss? We'll call that about 16. So they're going to lose 16 per unit. 16 times eight, whatever that is. 16 times eight is 128. So the loss would be 128. Okay. So this firm should, uh, should exit the market if this is a long run 
situation. Okay, that was some practice with perfect competition.